the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who has taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in His consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Queen, conceive without sin. Pray for us. Praise the Lord, dear friends. Uh, look with me in St. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 5, verse 8. But God proves His love for us in that while we were still while we still were sinners, Christ died for us. God's love um, is forgiving. God um, loves us. He, he is ready uh, to accept us as we are. Uh, and then when we come to Christ, uh, we experience His love. Everyone can experience it. Most of the time we stay away from God or we don't want to come to God because once we come, uh, our lives are going to be changed by His love. We will be touched by His love and divine love will guide us. And so um, uh, let's, let's trust God's love. Let's not doubt His existence or His love for us. No matter what you have done, He's always there for you. Many a time you may think because you messed it up and you ruined uh, through your sin, God does not love you uh, enough and uh, maybe uh, He doesn't like you, but that's, that's the lie of the evil one. God loves you. He died for you. So precious that He, he has given you the status of a son and uh, He sacrificed His only son so that you are raised to His status. So believe in His love and live your life. His love should be the foundation of your life, uh, source of your life. And uh, you live your life uh, trusting in His love for you always. May this word of God help you. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.